My name is Peter Sills with Blue Smoke Entertainment Systems. This is the Black Box. The Black Box is a music server for the discriminating audio file. It is a brand new product that we're bringing to market. It is designed from the ground up for the audio file marketplace. It has no moving parts internally. It is all solid state using solid state drives, very low power, DC conversion, and DSP processing for the audio. Given the DSP, we can take a 44-1 CD that we rip to the drive. We rip them entirely losslessly. We do multiple read rips to make sure we get 100% of the data. And then once we have that in the unit, we can take that and upsample that or oversample it to 176 kilohertz and output that to the audio system as it's playing right now. One of the most important things with our system over a lot of other systems is that we've decided to go standards based in that as we build these custom PCs, we're not using Linux in our own custom software. We're using basically off-the-shelf hand-picked components that we've researched over the last year or so to make sure that we have the single best sounding device on the marketplace. Being standard-based, we can add capabilities and functionality to the device. One of the things as part of our design philosophy is that the music does not reside in the server itself, but resides on a NAS unit. We have one in the corner. And that stores as much music as you want. That's infinitely expandable so that we're not limited to the confines of the case itself. One of the other things that's uh, nice about the unit as well is because we're uh, localizing this music in one location, that it can be accessed through multiple points within a home, so it's the heart of a whole house server. We have uh, support for uh, Crestron and AMX control, so we have full control. Uh, given the uh, web server in our NAS unit that we're supplying, that you can uh, access the music from anywhere over the internet and play that as well. But first and foremost, our number one design goal was the highest possible quality of audio on the marketplace. Given that, we've tested this alongside some of the highest end uh, uh, transports and turntables on the marketplace. We can actually record at 192 kilohertz, 24 bits, from any analog source, such as a high-end turntable, and encode that as well to our device. So for the discriminating audio file who happens to have a large album collection, we can take that in as well at uh, very high quality and store that as part of their music system. Generally so that if you have a lot of, uh, of albums, what we generally recommend since you have to record an album in real time, you can take the best of your collection and you can archive that away in pristine quality. But so far, our response has been very, very good at the show. Uh, we're very happy with the performance, but at this point I would tell you we could put this device up against, I would say, any other transport or head end of the marketplace and I'm absolutely sure at least beat it, if not meet it, in, in quality. As I mentioned previously, everything we do is standards based. Therefore, our user interface and our control systems are part of Microsoft Windows Vista. Uh, we've experimented with Linux, we experimented with Windows XP, we found Windows Vista to actually be the best audio performing operating system on the marketplace. This is the media center in Windows Vista Ultimate, uh, and we can keep track of all of the albums. We can sort them by album, by artist, we get a list, by genre, songs, you can custom create your own playlists, etc. What you're hearing now, we can bring up, this is Beatles Love Album, you can see the cue of what's playing, jump around within that and play any track that you want. We're currently working on software that will do our ripping inside of the uh, Windows Vista interface as well. It's not available at this point, but shall be within the next couple of months. That will also take a disc the minute you put it in, rip it, go out to the internet, find all the album information, find the uh, cover art, and add that to your database, as well as give you the option to decide what category you want that in as far as genre, though it'll pick the default up off the, the internet. So you have a two-box system. Uh, when it seems computer technology could easily cram everything into one box without a problem. One of our design philosophies was to take absolutely everything we could out of the box, away from the audio processing so that there's no hard drive with stepper motors creating noise in the system, number one. That we're not using the electrical interfaces for a hard drive in the system, such as serial ATA or EIDE, which are inherently noisy, designed to burst data, not to clock data, into the CPU and into the RAM as fast as possible. What we've done by moving all the audio into a NAS, or a network attached storage device, allows several things. First, all the audio comes from the NAS over the Ethernet, which is a clocked time device into our system. It is then moved into the DSP's RAM space, so the DSP can reclock that uh, information at less than one error per uh, less than one nanosecond uh, data. So therefore, we have a very, very clean system 
as far as our audio and present very, very low processor overhead. One of the things that we try to do is keep the processor load very low. One of the reasons we use WMA lossless is it has the lowest profile we found for decoding. Because of that, when the processor stays low load, it stays cool. When it stays cool, less heat is generated. When less heat is generated in electronic circuits, you get less noise. Therefore, we generate a very, very clean signal inside of the box. Also, because we put the music on the NAS, this box does not have to be responsible for the music. I can then put another one of these boxes, one of another black box somewhere else in the house or in multiple locations, play music in all of those, as well as stream it out over the internet or play to any other device or put it on an iPod or some other player if I wish without having to go through all this interface. It's available wherever you want. At this point, the product is being uh, uh, handled by uh, uh, custom orders. We're taking our initial orders now uh, for the product. But uh, for any further information, let me direct you to Ron Laporte at Ultimate Audio Video. And uh, you want to provide the information? Sure. Uh, I'm Ron Laporte, Ultimate Audio Video in Deerfield in Northbrook, Illinois. Uh, we are currently the only ones selling this product. I'm also a uh, Rockport dealer here and uh, showing with Rockport and Griffin and Purist. Um, we have this item available. You, our website is uh, ultimateaudiovideo.com. It's actually ultimateaudio-video.com. Uh, or you can reach me at 847-977-0220, and we'll be glad to uh, provide more information about it.